Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back, my name is Grace, the one behind Fonts Cordy and you are in my art channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more. Today I have a sketchbook tour for you. This is a kinda sad one and that's because I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this one. I got this sketchbook as a gift from my sister and I love everything about it except the most important part, the paper. I cannot stand the paper. It's this weird plasticky feeling paper with this weird machine texture and for some reason it drives me crazy. And I say it's a sad sketchbook tour at least for me because due to the paper I cannot finish this notebook. It's more frustrating than enjoyable and I did try. I used this for the entire month of June with different mediums and it's, it's just not working and it makes me sad because this is a gift from my sister and I love it and I have so many pages I could enjoy but the paper and before you say why my sister didn't check before buying it my sister doesn't know anything about art or stationary materials I am the only artist goblin in the family she got it in a craft fair and I'm kind of angry to whoever made this because I have noticed, at least in my country, the people who make these kind of handmade notebooks make beautiful covers but choose the worst paper. If they want cheap paper, you can use print paper, even recycled print paper which is even cheaper where I live. That will be better than this. It's really frustrating. So anyway, sorry for the rant, but I'm really frustrating with this one. Well, sketchbook specifications, it's a handmade notebook bound with cotton thread. The cover is made with goat leather. Where I live, we have a lot of traditional dishes made with goat meat. And because it's a relatively small industry, usually all parts of the animal are used. The paper, uh, weird, plasticky stuff. It has 120 sheets, so 240 pages. It can take pen, gel pens, and water markers. And it doesn't bleed, so that's good. But they kind of like sit on the surface. When the marker is wet, you can kind of move it around. That's why I say it's like plastic. I mean, even the stickers doesn't stick. So, I don't know what this is. But anyway, I managed to use uh, maybe one third of the notebook. Uh, this is just some cardboard I use because it's floppy and I needed some support when I draw. So anyway, this is what I managed to make. First page. It's just a test page. I was seeing how all materials behave. I started this last month on the 2nd of June. This is just, um, we went to pick up some Chinese food. So this is the counter where you get the food. And in that same moment when I was, when we were waiting for the food, I did this and I also did this one and this one. This is just a test page. This I was testing the rainbow pencil I have. I really like this one. This, eh, not so much. This is when I noticed I need some proper support because I could not draw with pencil without it. One of my brain dumps page. A lot of these sketches doesn't have a deep meaning, it's just whatever comes to my mind. Oh, this does have a meaning. This is when we have a, how do you call it, power out? 
The power went out during a storm and we went without it for the whole night. So we walk around with candles that day. Some Pinterest photos, some daffodils, random plants. One of my weird uh, thought process. Uh, this one I was drawing a horse and the pose was uh, a little bit weird for the size of the page. So yeah, it kind of reminded me of that. I practice because what is a sketchbook without an eye? Oh, this one, I was watching a movie and I wanted to see how much I could remember a pose and how quick I could draw it. So this is what came out. Random doodle. More portraits. I have found portrait portraits are a little bit like my comfort zone. Oh, this one I was brainstorming for my phone cover. I have that video in my channel if you want to see it. More portraits. Oh, this was during the birthday of my sister and they had this, uh, how do you call it, like the claw machine where you can get plushies and these two things were inside there i don't know if they are from a show a cartoon or something but i love them if you know why th what they are please let me know this one i made it while i was watching the hobbit this this was the moment when i became super frustrated with the paper I I think this is probably the breaking point. So yeah. Giving the paper another try, I started doing more portraits. Again, trying with the rainbow pencils because the gel pens, I mean, I it, I don't know, they don't work. They feel weird. It's, it's a feeling thing. Oh, this is after I went to the art store. If you haven't seen my Polychromos video, I went to the art store and I found a promo on Polychromos. And I was just doing a tiny test here to see if they were the right color. And after going to the art store, I went for a coffee and a sweet bread. I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of the ghost posters. And I think this is the last one. Yes, that's it. I am not going to keep using this as a sketchbook for the moment. I think I'm going to use it as a journal from now on. My current journal is almost done. I think I have maybe four or five pages left. And after that one, I think I'm gonna use this. This paper is not that frustrating to use it for writing if I use a ballpoint pen. I really don't want to just toss this in a shelf. I like when people I love give me this kind of niche stuff and they feel special, so I want to put a good use to them. Anyway, if you managed to listen to all that rant, thank you so much for being here. This is all for today. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. 
Hope you have an amazing day. Until next time, bye bye.